Critchley, Pfeiffer and 50 helps Derbyshire dominate. The pairs struggle to emulate their hosts on day two. After batting his way to a ton in their innings, Matt Critchley then picked up key wickets for Derbyshire to leave Worcestershire struggling, 147 behind with the score 243 for 7. Barnard and Joseph ensured that score would move past 250 early on day three. They'd managed to drag the total towards 300 when Critchley once again struck, Barnard out for 23. Some eye-catching hitting from Joseph then took Worcestershire up towards 300 runs, their deficit dipping into double figures. Leach would only be able to pick out Critchley off the bowling of Hudson Prentice though. Joseph brought up the 300 in style, Critchley launched over the boundary, with the bowler and star man for Derbyshire struck back. Another big shot attempted by the Windies International, perhaps looking for a 50, left him bowled for 46. Worcestershire were all out for 305. Tom Fell and Ricky Vessels had been the pair's most potent batsmen, but without the late lower order hitting of Joseph, it could have been a lot worse. Critchley finished with well-deserved figures of 5 for 67. Rees and Deploy added 23 to the Derbyshire total in the overs remaining before lunch, their lead at the interval 108. And after lunch, that total was doubled quickly. 50 runs on the board not long after the resumption of play. Reese's progress though was halted by Alzari Joseph. A sharp chance for Ben Cox, but he did well to get down quickly. Madsen found form. He punished loose Joseph deliveries and then showed some invention against Barnard. Deploy would fall with T looming. Bowled behind his legs by Barnard, Derbyshire found themselves two down at the interval with 78 on the board. Critchley was quick into his work at the resumption. A slew of boundaries around the wicket had Derbyshire into three figures. He was in scintillating form and took the attack to Worcestershire. Even when Pennington thought he'd remove the Derbyshire talisman, it was a false dawn. Six runs picked up instead. His intent brought with it another knock of note. A half century reached off just 43 balls and his side now quickly passed 150. Madsen followed with a 50 of his own. His stay at the crease had been longer, but he wasn't about to let Critchley hog the spotlight. His knock came off 65 balls. But he'd fall not long after. Mitchell found his pads and off he went with 66 his return. The boundaries dried up for Critchley and a few overs later he followed Madsen, bowled for 84, another key wicket for Mitchell. Anuj Dahl followed soon after, D'Oliveira firing one in to rattle his off stump. Hussain and Hudson Prentice couldn't find the boundary in the dying light and the score at the end of the day was 268 for 5. The home side were leading by 353 runs. A dash for a win on day four was set up.